This is a quick tutorial to walk through the most important settings functions in Laser OS. You access them by hitting the settings menu button. The first option you're presented with is image. Image, you can zoom in the image that your laser is projecting. You can lock the X and Y axis together with this toggle button when it's off. You can zoom the X and Y axis independently, but by default, they're toggled together. You can also adjust the position right and left or up and down. And these swivel and tilt functions adjust the shape of the image. They're very similar to the keystone adjustment of a optical projector. After image, the next choice is color balance. In the color balance menu section, you can adjust the levels of the red, green, and blue laser from minimum to maximum. You can also set a limit to their minimum level with these sliders. And for more advanced users, you can set the gamma as well as turning on a TTL mode if you're using a third-party laser that only supports TTL. Next setting category is safety zones. Here you can set the attenuation zones and you can add as many as you want. This is where you can control where the edge of your laser is gonna fall so you don't damage camera lenses or uh, people's eyes more importantly. So when you turn the attenuation zone on, you can see the edges of the laser. And with these sliders, you adjust them just so you're just cropping off either the width or height of your image. And you can also come in and adjust the X and Y axis. And then when you have it so it's protected, you can see exactly where the limits of that are with the preview zone, and then add that attenuation zone. Next is color. When you come to the color settings here, you can adjust the hue. You can create monochromatic colors. can shift the color palette and you can adjust the overall level of the red, green, and the blue lasers. In the audio settings, when there's music that's being fed to Laser OS, Soundgate is basically a threshold that sets the level by which the audio will trigger the image. So the lower it is, the lower the threshold. And when you turn on laser off with no sound, it by default it's off, but when you turn it on, when you stop the music and start it, the laser will start and stop. And this is the threshold level for that. So you set it just below the threshold. And when your music starts and stops, so will the laser. In the general settings, here you can control where the startup logo appears and you can check for updates. But the most important thing here is that you can show the hotkeys and also to import and export the hotkeys that you've created. So for example, if I hit import hotkeys, it'll take me to a dialog box where I can choose the hotkeys and then open that file. The last thing that's important here is there's ability to turn on the burn and pop apps. You have to agree to a disclaimer. And then when those are turned on, those apps appear here. Under the colorized settings, you can turn on 
color effects for different apps. So for example, right now we've got abstracts on. So if we turn on colorize for abstracts, each one of these menu choices will affect abstracts. You can combine them or you can select them individually. And you can select them for each of the different apps. Under MIDI, you're given a choice of MIDI input. If you have a USB MIDI keyboard attached, you'll see it in this menu. Right here, the IAC bus is selected. And you can also select the MIDI output channel. Some of the apps in Laser OS output MIDI, such as the Harp app. And then there's a reset function where you can reset all the settings to their defaults.